Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at what has been fixed and also the um, we'll be looking at the uh, blockers and known issues still left in the May 2020 update. So right now as of today we are Monday October 19th 2020 we are still at the May 2020 update. We are getting the October 2020 update soon, possibly this week. So that's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here. But for now, um, a lot of you are wondering, because there's still some of you out there that don't see the May 2020 update on your PC when you go to Windows Update. And of course, there's always a question of, is it normal? And uh, there's a certain number of blockers still left because of some of the hardware and some of the stuff that might be a problem. So I'll share once again the page here for this information. Um, one, well, two things that have been fixed this month. One is then the bug fixing update that was released on October 1st. There was a big list of a uh, big, you know, update with a lot of bug fixes for the May 2020 update. It actually removed a certain number of blockers for some users. So if you are on that version of Windows 10, an older version of Windows 10, and didn't see it, maybe it's there now. Uh, remember that one of the major things that is happening with the uh, update is that if you're on the October 2018 or the May 2019 update instead of the May 2020 update, you will start getting pushed to this new version because the Windows 10 version uh, end of support is coming up soon. So on October 2018 update, you have a last Patch Tuesday update this coming November. After that, you're out of support. You need to move on to a newer version of Windows 10. And the month after that, December, is the month where the uh, May 2019 update is actually going to be uh, end of support. So you are both going to be pushed quite quickly now to at least uh, version 2004. So this is going to make this version really, really uh, catch on at a much faster pace. And this is going to be coming up in the next few weeks for you guys, because uh, if, if not already. Um, remember that every version of Windows 10 for consumers has an 18-month support. So after 18 months, you have to move on to a newer version of Windows 10 to continue getting Windows updates. So what's going to happen with this uh, is that you're going to be pushed here, but there's still a few things that are left. So here, one of the things they fixed is the uh, WWAN LTE modems that might not be able to connect after waking from sleep. That was something that was blocking your updates. There's another one which was uh, when installing and currently formatted third party drivers, you had an error message. So that is also something that has been resolved. And these are now part of what before was blocking your Windows updates is now fixed. There are still some known issues that are, you know, n known and um, a couple of them are connexent uh, ISST audio drivers and also uh, certain um, issues with other types of connection to audio drivers that might have problems. Uh, we also know that there's a blocker for uh, one thing that is, is um, if you are a tweaker of systems, if you have a desktop, uh, a lot of uh, you know tech enthusiasts like to tweak the hardware, change some of the settings from the core, or what they, the, the, you know, the manufacturer wants and, and change it to your settings, personal settings. Apparently there are some blockers in there also because if the um, telemetry sent from your Windows does not confirm that it's 100% okay to upgrade, uh, it might not show up yet. So these are a little, a few things that you need to know if you don't see it again. Last but not least, if you are not seeing it, don't worry. Um, it will show up at some point and you will have an update at some point. I see a few people out there that say that they've tried upgrading to version 2004 
and there was a rollback um, well um, I'll do another video where um, you can see where to get the uh, version the latest version of Windows and, and do a clean install um, because I think it's important to remind everybody that you can download Windows uh, from the Microsoft website and we'll talk about the terms and conditions also that are related to that in the next video so I'll share this page uh, still a few blockers left but overall the upgrade pace is quickening and um, it's actually going well so there's really no problems once again a lot of people are on the impression that there's a lot of problems and they haven't been fixed well pretty much everything is fixed except a few things and if you do have a problem or known issue remember that it won't show up in your Windows updates so um, that's something to know and last but not least if you have one of the core issues that, of blockers that are known here like the connects and audio and so on well you can still try to update with the clean install by downloading uh, the, with the media creation tool and all of that it's gonna update if you force it it's just that it might act weird for some reason if something is not right so uh, uh, the link to this page is in the description below the video it's updated from time to time so check it out when you want to know if something is fixed mitigated or if sometimes they can add a new um, page with uh, problems and of course this page will also bring you to another uh, information is that once the October 2020 update is released on the left side you see all the uh, versions of Windows and their known issues and and fixed or resolved issues um, version the next version 20h2 which is October 2020 update will show up here and you'll be able to uh, see what are some of the problems that might appear on that um, version of Windows coming up in the next few days if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching